Hey, what's up guys? Solid Dot here and today I'm doing a video review on the iRuly Walk and Book 2 notebook slash tablet PC. Now this 10.1 inch tablet can be found for around £140 on Amazon uh, UK and around $175-$180 on the Amazon USA. Links will be down in the description below in case you're interested. Now you might be wondering what you get inside the box. Well you've got a tablet itself, you've got a charger which is rated 0.35 amps which is very low uh, and it does take a long time to charge. You've got a micro USB to USB cable in order to connect up the uh, tablet. You've got uh, a little manual and you've got a little flip up case slash ta um, keyboard which I'll get into in just a second which makes it quite cool uh, and handy in order for you to take it around. Within this um, package, uh, that's all you get, but I did also additionally get a £7 case from Irulu, uh, which is kind of a nice uh, kind of case which uh, fits the tablet quite well. It works brilliantly and it looks quite nice. I'm not really going to talk about the, the, the case itself, but I just thought to mention it, it was included. I should mention there are build quality issues, as you can see over here, that uh, do raise a few questions. But apart from that, it's a pretty solidly made thing. And well, for £7, I can't really complain all that much. So let's get into what's a bit more interesting, the tablet. So the tablet's uh, specs, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, I'm not sure how much you're going to be actually able to see on screen, but either way I'm going to tell you the specs uh, so you guys um, can, um, can know them. So it's running on a Intel 1.3 gigahertz, 1.33 gigahertz quad core CPU. It has two gigabytes of internal DDR3 SD RAM and has a hard drive space of 32 gigabytes. So do bear that in mind, 32 gigabyte is not always 32 gigabytes because when you get the PC, it's got pre-installed stuff and everything like that. And obviously Windows takes space. It's got micro SD card expansion. It's got USB 2.0 input. It's got micro SD card input, which I'll show you in just a bit. It's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, capability, Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi 802.11 BG and N, so not AC. It is also a 10.1 inch tablet, as I said in the beginning of the video, and it's um, and obviously uh, what's quite important is its resolution, which is 1280 times 800. So it's HD, but not full HD um, in terms of its um, its resolution. Now in terms of uh, other things that you might be um, curious about, apart from its specs, is actual its build quality. So let's talk about the tablet's uh, build quality. So first of all, at the top, or I gonna, yeah, I guess the top of the tablet, you've got on and off uh, switch, which can be also used to sleep. You've got volume uh, rocker, which is always useful. On this side, you've got your USB, you've got your, um, your HDMI, you've got uh, your um, SD, micro SD card reader, you've got uh, your micro USB, you got DC input uh, for charging it, and as I said, it does take quite a while to charge, and you got a headphone jack. At the back, you'll be able to see you got two megapixel camera, which is not fantastic, but it's good to have the addition over there. You've got a speaker at the back, um, and at the front, you've also got another very small uh, kind of webcam, but it is pretty poor quality, I must say. Apart from that, um, Underneath you've got the little connections which are used for the keyboard and that's about it. The tablet itself is reasonably well built. It comes with a screen protector by default. I actually got rid of the screen protector just because it's, um, well, it didn't really look nice and I preferred it without it. Um, and I should also mention how it's integrated with its keyboard. Now the keyboard integration works absolutely flawlessly when it comes to connecting it. So first of all this little keyboard thing has little magnetic strips which means you can do that and then plug in the tablet as simply as putting it on its little stand and connecting it. It connects very quickly and works very flawlessly. I'm just going to bring the camera back just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. So now you can see I can control uh, windows um, like so. I'm using the mouse right now. Hopefully, well, you won't be able to see it just to use contrast, but there you go. At the bottom there, you can see me moving the mouse. Now, its keyboard integration is fantastic. It's good, the fact that it has that functionality. But one thing I did notice is that its actual keyboard here is not very responsive. So I'm just going to open Microsoft Word and hopefully try and give you an idea. So if I just type quite lightly, well, as you can just see right there, it just does its own thing. If I do, hi there, how are you doing? It does type, but it does miss every now uh, and then a few keys. 
and I found the spacing on the keys are very small obviously just due to the tablet size it means I did uh, encounter quite a few errors when typing and furthermore certain um, keys are very hard to press so the shift key you have to press it in a certain way so you can't press it over here as it doesn't register but when you press it here it does it's very strange but essentially the keyboard is not very well made and unfortunately does let down the tablet because other than that it's a really nice tablet uh, to use so I should mention you know the keyboard is a major part of the tablet and unfortunately due to the build quality and just the kind of poor um, and kind of cheap feel to it it doesn't add the overall experience uh, to the tablet. I should finally mention that as we are in the UK I would expect a UK keyboard and unfortunately it's not a UK keyboard it's a US layout keyboard so despite me pressing shift and three and um, getting the pound key but over here you can see you've got the hashtag um, symbol which is also known as the pound key but instead of getting the GBP pound yeah, which I do because I've set it in Windows 10 as UK keyboard but the keyboard over here the physical layout is a US keyboard it's just something you must get used to especially if you're using at it's not too like you, hopefully you can see but if I if the camera just you can see two it says at there well it's not um, it's not at because um, in the UK it's um, known as the quotation marks, the two quotation marks. So anyway, it's a small thing to note, but it's obviously, as we're in the UK, I thought it was quite important for those that uh, might be um, interested and worried about that. Now, in terms of the tablet itself, what do I think about it? Now, I'm just going to get rid of the keyboard and actually just talk about the tablet on its own. Now, the tablet, what I found is on it just on its own without the keyboard integration is really fantastic to use I found it really cool and easy to open up documents and actually install whatever I wanted the fact that it's running Windows 10 and not sort of a mobile version of it meant that I could do everything that includes say for example including a mouse and just literally plugging in as you do on a normal computer and then having it work so I've got the mouse connected in there it picks it up and I'm now using the mouse as you can as you can see there it's so simple it works just as a computer would do and this is what makes it so useful because you can just use it as a computer rather than worrying it as a mobile or as an actual tablet tablets for example on Android have limitations this is a fully operational Windows computer as far as I'm aware of course it's not something you're going to be gaming on of course it's not going to be something that's super high performance with super sharp resolution at its given price but in my opinion it's something that you're going to be using in order to take notes for example if you're at lectures at university or something you're just going to take for presentations or just to show certain clients some um, some work that you've done or show your portfolio or whatever it is it's something that's um, quite um, quite convenient and useful to have in comparison to a normal tablet I should say that it's boot on time does take a little while I would say about a minute and a half to boot on so it's not as quick as a tablet but other than that I don't see any drawbacks in fact I can't see any negatives about having this sort of um, tablet over a normal or very expensive Windows tablet which is you know like a Surface or something which is ridiculously expensive or something like a Android uh, tablet which again limits your functionalities but could be cheap so yeah, sure, the specs are not high spec out there, but who really needs that when you're just going to be taking notes, for example, you're going going on Word and you're going to type on your stuff. On top of that, you'll be able to see that I've got Word over here. Now, Word was installed via my own serial key for Windows, um, so Office 2007 Professional, which I have on my, P my actual PC. The included uh, Office is w Office Mobile. It's not a full uh, licensed um, Office version as far as I'm aware, but Windows 10 is officially licensed on the tablet. So you can install whatever you want. So in that respect, I installed uh, Microsoft Office and Microsoft Office works flawlessly and I've been using it on this tablet to take notes um, and just usually just use it as I would, for example, to use the Excel spreadsheet or whatever. As I said, the keyboard wasn't something I really liked, but as it has Bluetooth, I connect it up to my Bluetooth um, um, keyboard and I just use the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse function trackpad functionality on that in, uh, in order to communicate with the tablet. So in essence, 
this is a fantastically value for money buy or a nice little purchase that you can make for someone. It's quite cheap, it works and it's running on Windows 10 meaning you get all the updates, you get um, a fully operational almost PC-esque like uh, tablet and it just works flawlessly. Overall, I would give it a 7 out of 10 just because of certain build quality issues and the problem with this keyboard which is kind of fundamental to me when it comes to a tablet PC. But other than that, it's a good tablet. Anyway guys, I've been totally dubbed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like, comment and subscribe and comment if you um, what you think about the tablet itself. Make sure you check out the links in the description for a full written review and the Amazon links. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care. Bye bye.